Welcome. By the end of this video, you'll be able to add snow to the games that you're creating in Roblox Studio. I will show you how to make it snow as well as how to add snow to the terrain. Let's get started. So you're going to want to have Roblox Studio open. And you can see I'm working on a winter game here. And so first thing I'll do is show you how to add snow to the terrain. It's pretty simple to add snow to your game. So what you want to do is you want to have the editor open, the terrain editor. And you want to, if you don't have any snow in your game, you can click on generate. And then you can click on the dimensions you would like. And then you can choose the material settings uh, to be Arctic and then mountains. And then if you would like caves, you can have caves. You can turn it on or off. And then you can click generate. And it'll, it'll generate something like this. And if you want to add snow uh, to the train, what you can do is then go to edit in the train editor. Uh, press on any of these. You can click on grow, add, smooth, or uh, the paint. Either one of those will work. They all just work in a different uh, way. And then just go down to the material you would like, and you can click on snow on the bottom left. So that is one way to add snow. You can see I can add a snow mound there. And then let's say you wanted to maybe paint something. You could paint it with either the snow or the ice. That, that would make it look uh, snowy as well. And there's also a glacier setting that you can paint on to the materials as well. So again, that was uh, you can either paint, grow, or add. Either one of those will work. So that's the easy way to get snow into your game. Now let's show you how to make it snow so that you can have snow falling in your game. So the first thing you're going to want to do is add a part. I'm going to go ahead and add a block. And then once you add that, you can select on the part here. If you're having problems finding it, you can press the F button, and then that will locate the part. And I've got the move selected here, so I'm going to move the part around. So let me find the part, and I'm going to move it where I can actually see the part. There we go. So now I can actually see the part. Another way to help yourself see it is to go ahead and change the color. You could change it to like red or something like that. And then that way you can at least see the part that you're working with. So I've got the part here. I'm going to go ahead and scale it. And to start out, I'm just going to show you how to do this with a smaller part. And then the settings will just change a little bit depending on what size of a map that you're working with. So we've got a part here. Okay, so now that you have your part, what you need to do is have it selected and then go up to Model and then go over to Effects and then you're going to click on the Particle Emitter. So once you click on the Particle Emitter, you can see that there are there's snow coming out of the top of the part. And I'm just going to move this a little bit. So you can see the snow coming out of the top. So what I want to do is have that snow come out of the bottom. So I have the uh, go over on the Explorer and then make sure you click on Particle Emitter. And then now I'm going to go and scroll down and I'm going to find where the direction is coming out of. So right now it says that the emission direction is top. I actually am going to change that to bottom. So now you can see the snow is going to come from the uh, bottom of the part and it's going to fall down to the ground. So this is a small uh, portion of the map that has snow. And of course, you could just resize this, and I'll show you how to do that later, to resize the part so that you have uh, the snow covering the entire map or the part of the map that you would like to have it covered. Okay, so let's go into the particle emitter. And you can see uh, there are a couple settings we have that we can change with the snowfall. So let's start at the top. So once you have particle emitter selected, you can go down to the properties. And first is the color. Uh, you can certainly change the color if you would like. Uh, you could have it be uh, blue snowflakes if you wanted. So there's blue. And you can see it has kind of a star shape right now. Um, but uh, I'm going to stick with the white. And then one thing that I like to do is the light emission. Right now it's set at zero. I like to set that at uh, one. So you can see it makes them a lot brighter. And then once you have that there, there has the light influence. That I haven't noticed that change as much, but you can change it if you want. Uh, maybe something like 0.5. Um, and again, each of these will change depending on what look you're going for. Uh, the size of the snowflakes, of course, you could change that. If I change it to like a 5, you'll see they're really large. If I change it to maybe 0.5, that's probably a better uh, size for a snowflake. So let's go with 0.5 for the size. And again, you can change any of these in your game so that it looks right for you. Squash is a, kind of an interesting effect. If you, if you change that value, uh, it makes it look more like rain uh, or like a straight line. So I'm just going to keep that as zero so that it keeps that kind of like uh, circular look. With the texture, you could find different asset IDs within Roblox and change it to that asset ID. All you gotta do is find the number uh, of the asset and then change it. So I'm gonna use one that I found that works well. So 11864183. And so when I do that, you can see now we've got more of a circular look to the snowflakes. And so I'm actually gonna change. So now that those are looking pretty bright, now I'm gonna go up to the appearance here and turn the brightness down a little bit, maybe to 0.5. And then the light emission, I think that's a little too high too, maybe 0.5 for that. There we go. That looks better. Uh, let, let's go back to light emission, and I'm going to go back to maybe 0.1. 
Okay, so as we keep scrolling down the properties here, you can change the transparency. If you do that, it'll make it a little lighter or you could go ahead and set it to one and that will make it invisible. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and maybe set it at maybe 0.5 for now. That is kind of a nice light snow look. And then uh, if you keep scrolling, you've got that emission direction. That's the bottom, which we wanted before. Now, when you see the lifetime setting here, that's how long the particle will last before it disappears. So if I were to move this part, so if I select the part again, and then let's say I move it up, what you're gonna notice is the snow will not reach the ground the higher I get. So that's where I wanna change that setting, and that is right in that particle emitter. And so you wanna change that lifetime, maybe something like 50, or you could do a large uh, setting, like maybe 1,000, and that makes sure that it always makes it to the bottom of your game. I'll do 100. Okay, so rate is a really important setting for the snow, and that's how much uh, of the snow falls out of that part. So it's at 20 right now, let's say I change it to 50, you'll see it'll get heavier. And then let's say I change it to something really large, something like 500, you're gonna see it's a lot of snow. Now, but this is gonna change as I make the part larger. So let's go ahead and show you that now. So the rest of the properties are pretty straightforward. Uh, acceleration, you might wanna look at that, but everything else uh, is, is, is pretty much standard here. So. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and select the part again, and I'm going to resize it. And you'll see what happens to that rate as I do that. So let me resize this. And I would like this to cover basically um, the entire game. I'm going to get as much as I can here. Okay, so that's pretty good. And then let's go ahead and move this up. Okay, so now that I've worked with that a bit, and you can see the rate has changed since I made the part larger. This is actually pretty good. I like this, this snowfall rate. Um, but if you want to change it some more, you would go down to particle emitter again, and then scroll down to where you find rate, and then you just change it. Let's say you want to do like 10,000. And then you'll see there'll be, it'll be a lot heavier snow as you change that rate. So I'm going to go back to what I had, 500. I thought that was really, actually, yeah, maybe 5,000. So one last thing we need to change is the part that we worked with, right? So I'm gonna have the part selected. So I've got it selected. And then I'm gonna to go to the properties of the part, not the particle emitter, but the part. And then now what I'd like to do is, let's go ahead and uh, change the transparency of that part to one. So that way it's invisible. So now you have, can see the sky. And then I'm gonna go down to where it has, I wanna make sure we turn can collide off. We do not want anybody to collide with it. And then uh, you want to find anchored and make sure that you anchor this part so it doesn't fall apart on you. So there's anchored, so make sure you turn anchored on. So you want to turn anchored on and then can collide off. Um, and then uh, you should be all set. So in order to make sure this is working for you, you just want to go ahead and test run your game. So I'm going to go ahead and play this. And when you first load the game, you'll notice the snow doesn't start right away. Um, but as I continue to walk, you'll see that the snow starts to fall from the sky. So you now know how to add snow to the games that you're creating in Roblox Studio. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other Roblox Studio tutorials available. I'll put links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.